question today. Harley, how do you find what your life purpose is? That's a good question. It's a question so few of us, unfortunately, ever take the time out to really ask that question. What is my life purpose? Why am I here on planet Earth? Why? For me, my life purpose is helping people help themselves get fit and healthy. And at the same time, we save the animals, the planet, and humanity itself. That's my life purpose. That's why I do what I do. It's what gets me up early in the morning. Like now at 6.30, it's crawled out of bed. I'm like, bang, let's hit the videos. What your life purpose is, man, is basically what gets you out of bed early and gets you up late at night just because just you want to do it. You just can't stop. But you sort of have to put the balance on there because if I stayed up till 2 o'clock every night, banging out internet stuff, then I'd frazzle myself out. So I'm not sure I'd go to bed early and then get up early and, and hit. So how do you find your life purpose? For me, what I did is I did some water fasting out in the bush in the North Australian outback. I just went out there and no, no food, just water for a couple of days. And I said, I'm not going to come back until I, until I know what my life purpose is. So I removed all distractions. I didn't take my computer. Actually, I didn't have a computer back then, but I didn't take any books. I just didn't have to take any uh, mp3 players just me and my thoughts in the wilderness that's it and eventually i was like my life purpose is to to share this message with the world that's all i want to do man that's all i want to do and i and i was like well are you sure let's just spend another day out here and be sure and then that whole 24 hour period i hardly even slept because fasting is hard to sleep when you're fasting typically and i'm just like man i just want to get out there and just share this with the world and that was in 2007 and I sort of knew that all along as a kid, but I never actually spent time investing in that. Never spent, okay, I'm next, whatever, how long it's going to take, I'm going to sp sit down, I'm not going to move until I know what my life purpose is. And when you put that sort of focus on something, then that's when ideas come up. So often you have maybe, you start writing something down. And often, you know, the 50th reply, you start to go, hang on, this, is, this makes sense. Basically, you almost start to tear up. You start to want to cry because it's like, wow, that's just... That makes so much sense. That's what I really love doing. And that's that's your life purpose. A life without purpose is worthless. Definitely, man. You've got to invest time in finding a life purpose because so many people get to age 40, 30, 50, 60, 80 and go, man, I've been living a life of quiet desperation. I've been living everyone else's dreams instead of living my own. I've been living for the purpose of others rather than the purpose of myself. And for me, the true joy is in serving other people. And that's what I feel everyone's purpose is is to help make this world a better place. Because look at the world we've got today, man. <laughs> we've fucked it up. We've cut down 90% of the Amazon forest for meat and dairy. We're just killing each other. We're fucking killing animals. We're shooting each other. We're going to chicken shops and boom, popping each other with fucking tech nines. It's crazy, man. We've got this, such a world of hatred and violence. It's got to stop, man. It's got to stop. I'm not talking YouTube violence. I'm talking like physical street violence, man. People want to fucking kill you. So we've got to change that. And that starts with what we eat. It starts with people getting in contact with their purpose. Yeah? Because when people are on track with their life purpose, they don't want to go around killing people. That's the, the corporation purpose or the government purpose or conspiracy purpose, whatever you want to call it. Connect with your life purpose. How do you find your life purpose? Remove all distractions. Another good way is to sit in a dark room by yourself for an entire day. As long as it takes. Just have a little mattress there, a bit of water, and just sit there. Lay down. And just let it all come out and just do it. Do it. And the most persistent thought that comes in and sticks there, that's your life purpose. And your life purpose can change. Don't think just, if I do this now, that's forever. Just do something now. Start now. Start now. Too many people wait. Too many people think they've got the rest of their life so they can walk around half asleep. Just go, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it one day. Maybe one day. Today's the day. Every day's the day. Today could be your last day on the planet Earth. And are you going to die with the music still in you? Not me, man. I'm going to do it every day, man. I want to leave a legacy, a positive legacy behind me. So if I die today, I'm like, well, at least I left a bit of good stuff behind. And the satisfaction that gives me, man, that's money can't buy that. Money can't buy that. So for me, I started off with the belief that the purpose of life is to be happy. And the purpose of life is to share that happiness with other people. And that's how I started off as. And then it grew from that to more of a, a direct path. And that's where I am now with nutrition and health and uh, physical performance. So it's all about starting somewhere and it's going to grow a little bit. It's like a plant. Just put the plant in the ground. There's a cool bit over there. Put the plant in the ground. Put the mango tree in the ground. Just get it started. It might, the fruits might change a bit. The branches might go over here. They might go over there. But just get it started today, man. Don't wait. It only takes a small amount of time. 
Take five minutes every day. What's my life purpose? What's my life purpose? You know, just do that. Go in a dark room for five minutes a day as a little fantail bird down there. And uh, just do it, man. Just do it. Even this, this bird's trying to get some information here. What's your life purpose, dude? What's that? To eat bugs and keep the pests at bay. Wow, look at this bird, man. It's cool. It's a little grey fantail. They don't normally come that close to people. That's pretty spun out. Anyways, so definitely, you want to get in touch. We're, we're here for a reason, man. We're here for a reason. We're not just here for a season. And I'll tell you what, when you're living on purpose, man, whew, now that is like a... That is attractive to people. That is fun. That leads to a life of adventure. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't highlight enough, man. I can't push it enough. Living with a life of purpose. So many people were like, you, know, you wake them up at 3 a.m. Go, what's your life purpose? And they'll be like, what? Huh? What? If you ask me, man, you wake me up at 3 in the morning, tip a bucket of cold water on my face, go, Drew, what's your purpose? I'll be like, I'll be like oh, what's that for? What's my life purpose? My life purpose is to help people help themselves getting fit and healthy, and at the same time, we save the animals and the planet and humanity itself. That's my life purpose. So when you're clear on that, when you know it, you can recite it, boom, 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 then all of a sudden you're on track. And then when you get caught up in a lawsuit, or you can get back on track because an obstacle is just something you notice when you take your focus off your goal. That's interesting. An obstacle is what comes up when you shift your focus off your goals. So whenever you start to get distracted, obstacles come up. You just got to get back online and keep on charging. Keep on charging. Keep on your focus. Keep on your, your life purpose. And then obstacles just pff, fall to the wayside. It wasn't going to be obstacles in life. That's just how it is. When you take your mind off your focus, obstacles are going to come up. Definitely. So just keep focused. Keep on having fun. Keep it adventurous. And you've got to keep fucking carved up, man. Because when you're not getting enough carbohydrates, living your life purpose, finding your life purpose... It's impossible. You can't because you don't have enough energy, man. Most people know what to do, but they don't have enough energy to do it. People in such a carb phobic coma that they're just like running around. Like, oh, 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 oh. It's like you go in a bike race or whatever, end of the bike race. People know what to do. You got to go with the faster riders and go up the hill fast. But a lot of people are going, I don't have the legs to do that because I haven't eaten enough carbohydrates. I haven't drunk enough water. At the start of the race, they're doing all right, but at the end, they're like, oh, I'd like to do that, but I just can't. So you've got to have enough carbohydrates every day so you can stay on purpose, live with purpose, be on purpose, man. You want to do that. 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight per day, minimum. If you're using the other system, 0.5 of a gram of carbs per pound of body weight per day. That's a lot of carbohydrates, Harley, yeah, and it fucking keeps you lean as fuck. And yeah, it keeps you lean as fuck. Anyone says carbs make you fat? Would never have a fucking clue. Live with purpose, man. People living with purpose. Keeps you lean, mean, without drugs, without anything. Eat right. Don't eat less. Just eat more of the good stuff. Don't eat less. Just eat right. So live with purpose, man. Today, find your life purpose. Write it down. That's your homework for today. Don't go another day in your life without knowing what your life purpose is. Write it down. And understand, it can change. But start with something now.